Good morning and welcome back to our computer class. Today we are going to do exercise of lesson number 11 that is algorithm and flowchart. Okay. So fill in the blanks and your uh, true and false. All the objective type questions you have to do in book and question answers should be written in your notebook. Okay. So let us start our lesson number 11 that is algorithm and flowchart. Now fill in the blanks. And dash is a set of sequential steps, sequential steps that are developed in solving any problem. Okay, the steps which are developed in solving any problem is known as your algorithm. And the spelling of algorithm is algo, a l g o r i t h m, t h m. Okay, algorithm. Okay. The dash symbol represents starting or ending point of a program. So which box? Start or your stop box. Dash box is used for writing the processing instructions. Okay, which box is used for writing processing instructions? Processing and the shape of that box is rectangle the dash box is used to display input and output of a program that is your input and output box and the shape of input and output box is your parallelogram the dash box represent all comparisons and decision so which box decision box and the shape of decision box is rhombus okay or your diamond shape. Dash are used to connect one part of a flowchart to another. That is your connectors. So write down this in your book. Moving on to the next. What we have to do? True or false. A flowchart is not a pictorial representation of steps. To get the solution of a problem. They are saying flowchart is not a pictorial representation. But it's a pictorial representation. And to solve a problem. So this one is your false. Algorithm means a set of rules. Which specify how to solve some problems. Okay we can say set of rules, set of steps. That's your true. Flowchart are helpful in analyzing the logic of a program. Very true. Connectors are used to connect the boxes. Yes. When they are going to connect it? When the flowchart continued on the next page. Not the boxes, uh, part of flowchart. So it will be a false. Okay. But actually it is your true. Connectors are used to connect your boxes of your flowchart. Okay. The general direction of flow of any flowchart is from bottom to top and right to left. False. It is from top to bottom and left to right. Now these are the flowchart boxes we have to place it okay or we have to draw it. So start for a start this is your box okay read A and B. So read A and B which one is your box that is your read A and B. Okay. Then is A greater than B? Okay stop for a stop. This box is there. A is equals to A plus 1. That is your processing. So rectangle is there. Print A. It is output statement. So your parallelogram is there. So you have to draw these boxes in the place given on page number 115. Now 
now what we have to do tick on the correct answer and write down the option also algorithm is always written in simple language why in simple language so that it is easy to understand the dash box is used to display the final result okay which box is used to display final result input or output in a flow chart dash indicates the sequence of steps and the direction of flow flow lines the diagrammatic representation that illustrates the steps for solving of problem is called flow chart diagrammatic representation means your pictorial representation now these flow chart is your question and answers i am giving you separate pdf file for that so you note down all the question answers in your notebook that's all for today and next week i'm going to complete the next lesson that is your internet and email and then our syllabus will be completed we are going to skip some lessons in that okay so in your final exams some lessons we are going to skip that we are not going to study so leave that lessons and start studying that's all for today bye bye